Okay, so half marathon training program with runner. Uh, we're about to go into week three. I've got a long run today and it's 16K. I'm training for the Surrey half marathon um, and I'm excited about it. But the format for today's run, 16K. It starts with an easy 5K and then this next 6K is at a pace of five minute, 20 per K pace. And then we finish with another 5K easy. Coming up in this video, three things. I wanna take you with me on my long run on part of my half marathon training. I'm also gonna do a wrap up of the awards of 2023. I've done a few videos as all YouTubers do, but there's a wrap up I wanna do. But I wanna start with... I shared a video asking for people's feedback. Um, whilst I can still talk, I thought it's worth saying thank you. Thank you to everyone who took a second to reply give me feedback. A lot of it was very positive and encouraging. We're 1K in into the easy section. We're gonna do 5K, aim for about six minutes, 30 per K pace. As we run through my favorite shoes, favorite brands, the awards, you know. I was on Reddit the other day and somebody asked a question asking for the best in the following category. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna do some of them and then Aubrey on the long run will do some of them. But let me start with this one. Um, actually, let's start with Aubrey on the run. Aubrey, can you tell us best running apparel or clothing? First runner up is Saw running. I've never seen quality and running clothes like that. It's premium, it's well thought out, absolutely excellent. The other one is Say Sky, um, specialized running clothes. They're really good. But my number one has to be Nike. You see, every race I've done, even these sessions, I will always wear their half tights. Five K done. We're about to do six K at a pace of five minute twenty per K pace. Six K coming up. Let's go. Best shoe design for me personally, um, and it's highly personal. It's Adidas's Primex Too Strong. I haven't seen innovation like that before. Yes, it was criticized about the weight, but the weight is there because of the tech that the shoe packs. Two carbon plates, have you heard that before? And then sandwiching the two carbon plates is part of that cushioning. The way that that shoe feels, I know it's been knocked around and some people it's their worst shoe, but for me in terms of design, innovation and a brand being daring, definitely Primex too strong. One more K and the rule on every workout is the last rep always has to be your hardest. So go one K to go. We're gonna try to beat that pace. Let's go. This one I'm excited about, the most improved. Now, it doesn't mean that we're rubbish before, but they've just shown up. Actually, do you know what? Let's just take you back out to Aubrey on the long run. He'll tell you this one. It's not just because I'm a fanboy, but this goes to on running. You see, before, I'll just be very blunt. I love the look of their stuff, their shoes. But in terms of performance, they were too firm. They were very stylistic, but they lacked the performance of a running shoe. The Cloud Monster was the first one I really, really liked. But in 2023, they released the Surfer 7, the Cloud Boom Echo 3. They released my favorite on running shoe so far, which is the Cloud Eclipse. So most improved running brand for me, on running. That was the fastest split yet. Um, there it is. Uh, okay, 5K, easy pace. Let's wrap this up. Um, let's talk most underrated brand. Um, actually, let's throw this one out to Aubrey on the long run. This one is simple. Um, 2023 was the first time ever I actually bought a Puma shoe. Not even just running, just period. I had never owned a Puma shoe before 2023. What Puma has done is give you excellent, 
excellent running shoes, but also they're actually really present where I live. So they're there for the community. But the shoes that they gave in the DVA Nitro Elite 2, DVA Nitro, um, the Fast R, I love those shoes. So for me, I think going into 2024, that's a brand that a lot of people need to look into. Puma, easily the most underrated running brand. Okay, best racing shoe. Now for the longest time, it was the Nike Vaporfly 3, but I gave the Hoka Rocket X2 that position because I tried it and I like how versatile that shoe is. It's definitely a shoe that can take you all distances. I love the cushioning. I love the propulsion. Um, and it was innovation for Hoka. That shoe has put Hoka in a whole different league. Because if you look at the first Rocket X, uh, two words for that. No thanks. But the Rocket X2 for me is now the benchmark of what a racing shoe should be. The finale. The best running brand of 2023, in my opinion. That has to be Hoka. You see, what Hoka has done is place themselves amongst the best. You see, the release of the Rocket X2 placed Hoka in a whole different world. If you look at the Rocket X version one, meh. But the Rocket X2, and then in releasing their Super Trainer, the Mark X, that placed them in a world that actually you have to reckon with these guys. They're a big force in the running community, but also they're very present. They've opened a store here in London, but they also support a few running events that I take part in. And so for that, giving us amazing shoes this year, being part of the community, my number one brand for 2023, definitely Hawker. So let's break down the session. It was a long run, 16K, done in three blocks. The first block was a 5K section um, at an easy pace, and I did that six minute, 28 seconds per K pace. Great. Um, and then moved on to the mother of the section, 6K. Um, the runner app asked me to do it at 5.20 per K pace, and I did it 5.15 per K pace. So proud of that, really, really good. It was tough. Cool down, six minute, 58 per K pace. Highlights of that session, my fastest mile in within that session was eight minutes and 11 seconds. My fastest 5K was 26 minutes, seven seconds, and my fastest 10K was 57. I like that the runner app actually gives you those stats. Can you see that? That's really, really cool. Heart rate, average of 159 beats per minute with a max heart rate of 195. So I think I'm gonna stay at that 195 uh, training effect. That was mostly aerobic, but a very high aerobic. And you can see, <laughs> oh wow, very high aerobic with some anaerobic, not a lot. Okay, and then heart rate zones, the majority of that as expected with it being high aerobic, uh, zone four with some zone three uh, with very little zone five and zone two. In trying to summarize the feedback that I got, from you guys in the video I shared, which I'm actually gonna link at the end. You can watch it so you can also input to what I do. I'm gonna be doing a lot of these training vlogs, but I'm also gonna do a lot of race vlogs. I'm gonna be sharing very transparently uh, everything I'm doing from a running perspective. And I sincerely hope that you will join me in 2024. This is my last video of Vlogmas. Tomorrow is Christmas and I don't necessarily wanna uh, spend time on YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna shut down and just spend time with family. I wanna thank you for everything you've done for my channel in 2023. Thank you.